Hi, I'm Peter Sullivan. We're going to talk about using an iPad or a tablet uh, in a way that can reduce your wireless radiation exposure more safely. Um, most people are using these things with all the, the Wi-Fi or the cellular services on and just kind of in their laps or even close to their eyes, um, especially even children. Um, the eyeballs, very important to know that eyeballs are very sensitive to microwaves, the most sensitive organs. So this is something you don't want this too close to your face. Also don't want it too close to your reproductive organs. So then um, again, one solution is using the Hara pad to kind of give you shielding on one end. But again, it's not gonna give you the shielding for your eyes. So the real ultimate solution is to try to minimize your exposure to things that stream while you're using it. So if you've got an application like a game that can download and then, then you go into airplane mode, turning off your Wi-Fi, cellular service, and your Bluetooth, then you've got a pretty innocuous device that's pretty safe to play with uh, on its own. Now, a movie can be harder uh, if you've got a streaming service. Ideally, what you'd really want to do is download the movie when it's far away from you, and then when it's downloaded completely, then you could watch it. Uh, again, you, you know, watch it in airplane mode, so then things are pretty safe, especially for children. Um, another option for movies is, again, to stream it on another device and watch it on a TV or something that's farther away. But again, the primary solutions on this device is to download it, big software updates or movies or games, while the device is away from you. When it's downloaded and everything complete, go into airplane mode and use it again. And then now it's a fairly innocuous, safe device that even kids can play with, but not when it's, not when it's radiating. So those are my tips for reducing exposure with an iPad or a tablet. Thank you for watching.